Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Gran Turismo Sports. Apparently I just reached level 30 and I'm now an Emerald Driver, whatever that means. But it also said I had like some kind of a reward. I'm not really sure where I can unlock it. Normally that's like achievement in the bottom right, but don't really see that. So let's just forget about that. There's only one thing I want to check before diving into the game. I find yeah, it is 4K. The, the graphics a bit fuzzy to be honest. But maybe that's just me. Feels a bit less sharp somehow. Let's check this out. HDR. Nah, this is all what it should be, right? Whatever. Just continue. We are in some kind of uh, light car event. We've arrived there over here, lightweight cup. Only three cars to choose from. Um, this one, that one, or this one. And I am going with the oldest, that is this one, just to get a bit more challenge. So that's the Honda Beat from 91. I have to go and buy it. Really annoying how much button presses you have to do to get there. It's really like 10 presses. I already forgot the name of the car. It's a Honda and then... No idea. Ah, here it is. The Beat 91. So that's... 63 horsepower and the other one has also 63 this one is from 15 and it's 24 years later same amount of horsepower and the other one was a Daihatsu I think let's also check the horsepower of that one but first buy this one Thank you very much. Pretty ugly car, I must say. At least to me. Uh, let's quickly check Daihatsu Kopen. And that's 62 horsepower. So they're all really evenly matched. Now I have to press another 20 buttons. BMW's first front wheel drive model, the new 2 Series. Ah, I didn't know that. Traces of the birth of the universe observed. Right, here we go. This is a bit slower than the Corvette from Ah, 
Holy shit. Then a Corvette from the previous episode. It's pretty tail happy. It's pretty funny. Actually, I'm not sure whether this is like a rear engine car. I don't think so. And I also assume it's not rear wheel drive. But the back certainly likes to flip out. That will just be a bit easy on the throttle. many laps we will have to do. This seems to be a pretty short version of Lake Maggiore, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I will make this in the three or so laps that this race is. Right, let's do a bit of slipstreaming. Oops. Number one car inside. Come on, little Honda, you can do this. first one is pretty quick. I wonder whether this is the last lap. If so, I might be in trouble. Alright, do we see the guy with the flag? If not, I'm good. If so, I'm screwed. Nice, another lap. He's driving the same car, I guess. We're equally powered. Here we go. it's maybe even another lap usually it's like three or five or stuff I don't think the game really often does four laps nope we have to do another one indeed
I think this is for the win. Yes, guy with the flag. First race, success. immediately tackle the next races as well. says only Kai cars. I really wish I knew what Kai cars were. It's probably some thing Japanese car class, but maybe Kai means light. I must say, it's a pretty fun car to race around in. It's pretty lively. I really like this circuit, or this is really, for me, one of the classical Gran Turismo circuits. Not sure why. Holy shit, brake way too much over there. By the way, it revs still 9000 RPM, this little engine. It's pretty funny. My bad. All right, second lap. Now in the third. Close racing, pretty fun. And of course the AI is braking way too much. Let's hope that is less so the case in the higher leagues, because of course I'm still in the beginner league. Man, the front cars really are ahead still. Right, see you later dudes. And this car really stops quickly. Of course, we're not reaching super high speeds, but you really can dish or lose the speed very quickly.
Honda, you can do this. And now I see why we're dishing speed quickly. We really hardly are reaching any serious speeds. Whoops. I'm talking like 140 kilometers an hour is like top speed. We even rarely are hitting that. Annoying when AI cars bump you. It does happen. Quite often actually. One lap after this one, we should be okay. Woohoo! See you later, Gator. Vigilance. Another win in the books. Five more minutes in this episode. Not sure what to do. Let's just try to quickly do the next race as well in this episode. Because it's a bit of. A, I do like the charm, these little slow cars. Three laps. But it's also a bit boring. The whole campaign up until now is a bit boring in the beginner big. There's no challenge whatsoever unless you are really in a much slower car as, as the AI. Here we go. all flat out here this is what I mean with the AI just pushing you off track it's quite annoying actually it 
simply pushed me off track. So either they break this shoe or they just ram you from behind. Which is actually pretty reminiscent from like GT4 and stuff. I wonder how much they... Well, this is my own doing. I should have braked a bit, but I wonder how much they improved the AI since then. If at all. Right, three more minutes left in this episode. If I fail again, then I will do this race in the next episode. So I'll keep the length of this one a bit manageable. God damn it, I'm screwing it up. bump into them but go past them and again I'm bumping into them such an idiot oh I thought that corner would have been way sharper with all the signs going on red arrows to the right, but it was actually a pretty fast corner. Alright, here we go. They are actually all pretty fast corners. In that sense, it's a pretty fun course high speed except for that corner should remember that one after the tunnel Stay clear of him before he bumps me off. And this was the corner that may have looked very sharp, but actually really isn't. Although you do have to lift a bit in order to avoid the wall. Again, I'm such an idiot. It's really about keeping the back in because this car really is oversteery a lot. Here we go. I think that's second and first place. a bit faster than the AI and again they're freaking bumping me I do like the challenge but we do have to get a move on because it's not endless
the amount of laps. There he is, first place. for sure where start finishes. Right outside of the tunnel I needed to break a bit if I'm not mistaken. That was over here. Or maybe that was the next tunnel. No idea because didn't seem that sharp of a corner over here. Maybe it's after this tunnel. Yes, I think it was more this tunnel. I really have no idea what each corner's angle actually is but i do know that it's a win so good enough guys uh, ending the episode here before it becomes too long youtube has uh, sometimes problem with uh, high quality files which are too big so we'll continue in the next one hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like share or maybe even a subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one and for the meantime don't forget to keep on gaming see you later